Hi guys, my name is Sandy. I'm a homeschooling mom to two boys. I have a third grader and I'm a fifth grader this year. And today I'm going to be showing you the BJU3 and the BJU5. All right, so this is the BJU level three for third grade. And I'm using this with both my kids this year. And then next year we're going to jump up to the level five and I'm going to be teaching them together. Um, I just find this easier to teach them at the same time. So I don't have to worry about like two sets of science experiments. And on um, the level four, we've pretty much covered everything in there. So I'm just going to bump them up to five, and it will be right in between them next year. And here's a look. And I'm also using it with the Evan Moore Giant Science book. I didn't get any other additional material with the level three this year. I just got the regular textbook. And next year, um, the level five, I ordered the textbook and the teacher's book. And I'm really thankful I ordered the teacher's book as well. Um, so let me do a walkthrough of the level three. And we started this halfway through the year, and we're going to be finishing it by the end of the year. So it was pretty simple for my children. It was kind of written for a third grader to work independently. And we did read-alouds and activities, and I found videos to coordinate with the lessons. And the thing I love about this is it's so straightforward. Um, we've just done layers of the skin. Let me show you how long the level three is. This would be the first page in the layers of the skin chapter. There's a little bit to read. There's nice diagrams throughout the whole thing. And then I love how they have the built-in questions after you read each section. That really helps just to have it here in the textbook so I don't have to pull out a separate book. And we've done this fingerprint experiments or activity. You can see how long it, it's not super long. We were able to finish this whole chapter in two weeks. And we just did this the other day. And I thought it would be a little childish for my kids, but they loved it and they really got into it. And right now, the way I have it planned out, we have like one science experiment or activity every other week. And here is an example of theirs that they've done. We used Play-Doh instead of clay. And I put tape over it to try to preserve it a little bit. They had a lot of fun with that, though. And we're using it with this Evan Moore Giant Science book for grades 1 to 6. Flip through it really quick. A lot of these I kind of have to, like, modify a little bit for my older son, who's in 5th grade. But there is pretty much an activity in here for everything in the BJU textbook. What I've done is I've printed it and I've put it into this binder. Like I printed up everything way ahead of time. I put it in the binder and then if they have an activity that day, I flip to it and I have it a copy for each kid. I can just easily pull it out and I have everything here in order of how we're doing it. And then I tie it all together with an old-fashioned teacher plan book that I bought for $5 from Amazon. I used this last year. I used this just for history and science. Um, we have really slow internet and kind of older computers here, so I find it's easier just for me to use an old-fashioned teacher planning book. And the thing I like about this is you can put in your own dates. And you can put in your own subjects. So I just use it for history and science, so all of my pages are just for history and science. And then I have like whatever pages we're going to read in BJU, I have it marked. And then like we're going to do a rock candy that day. So I have the page marked for that as well. And we're doing science two days a week right now. Eventually I would like to move it up to four days a week, but this year it's going to be two days. And then next year we're going to do it two days a week. So after they finish an activity, either from the BJU book or they finish an activity, um, from the Evan Moore book. I made these pockets for my kids and they just put their activities in here. And this was the fingerprint from the BJU. You can see like little fingerprints mixed in there right here. And then my kids went crazy and they put stamps all over the rest of the page. They kind of had fun with it. And then this is a Evan Moore. Here's another page from Evan Moore. Solar System book from the Evan Moore 
Chicken Life Cycle from Evan Moore. So we're going to be jumping up to the level five next year, and I've already planned out the entire year. And I do recommend getting the teacher edition, the teacher booklet for this. And oh, and by the way, this is not the most recent edition. There is a more, more recent level five and level three edition out there right now. But when I compared the two, um, this one looked like it covered all the exact same things. It just had a few more graphics in the newer edition. So I picked up these both used. This was $10. It's a little beat up in the corners. And I got this only for $5, but after I got it home, I realized, well, it was $5 because the binding is completely messed up over here. But I'm not going to plan on pulling it out every day during our lessons. I mainly used it for planning out our year. And it is really helpful for planning out the year, so I do recommend getting it. Um, there is, let me move to... They have every day marked out for you what you need to do each day. And next year, we're going to be using the Evan Moore with this as well. But I'm pretty sure um, when we move up a grade after that, I'm going to be buying all the coordinating materials with this because my son will be in seventh grade. So um, I like how they have it planned out. If you do school just half a year or if you do science the entire year, um, you're going to want to do the starred pages for the half a year or two days a week like we do. And then if it doesn't have a star, you can just cut those out. And if you're doing it, you know, five days a week for the whole year, then you want to leave all the lessons in there. So I really found this helpful just because it tells you exactly which lessons you can cut out if you have to. And here is, I've opened up lesson two. Because this is another reason I find it helpful. There are teacher demonstrations on the side of all of the pages. And this is a simple demonstration using an apple, but I would have never thought about using this myself. And it really teaches the kids even farther. I'm going to open up the coordinating page in the student textbook so you can compare the two of them. You can see they are the exact same, except the teacher textbook has it a little bit smaller than the student textbook. And also you've got like teacher helps hints and activities. Here's another activity that you can do with your kids. There's a Bible part of it as part of it, but I don't use the Bible section. And in this lesson over here, um, we're going to be doing this crayon art activity. So it really helps to plan out the year to have this teacher booklet. I'll flip through it and show you some more. So you can see here is a geography section, Bible section that you can do, another demonstration. And I've written, if there's teacher demonstrations that I'm going to be doing in here, I've written in my planner, my teacher planner book. And then I know exactly where to go in here so I don't have to pull this book out every single day. And we're also going to be using the Evan Moore with this for workbook pages. And sometimes I was able to find a coordinating video like on YouTube or Netflix to go with it. And I love this because it's written so simple and my kids are retaining so much information. And I like how you can buy the science kits online so you don't have to run around and collect everything. And I have plans on buying this level five science kit um, if our budget permits. And if it does, I'm gonna be doing a video to show you exactly what comes in it. They have the level five separated into six different units. So you're going to be studying six completely different topics every year, which works out well for my kids. They like the variety. I know if we study the same thing the entire year, they would be so bored with it. And there's one thing, one lesson that I really like that they included in here. I've been wanting to cover this topic for years with my kids, but I wasn't sure how to approach it. And this is the unit on the lungs and the human body. And it talks about the dangers of smoking. And I was just so happy that was, that was in there. So that's pretty much it for the BJU Science. We're really happy with it. It's working just so well for our family. Um, there aren't too many activities or science experiments, but there is enough just to keep the kids excited. And the reading sections are so straightforward, and my kids are retaining so much. I hope you found this video helpful. Bye!